Hey Heather, I love this question about channeling different versions of yourself. Um, I think because I think my superpower, if I may say so, is um, having different channels and being able to switch between different channels. Um, and that's probably just being an extroverted decider, an EJ. Um, but I see it for me as a facet of being able to, um, wait for it, be effective and get things done according to whatever is needed. And so I can just kind of flex and do what I need to do to get the thing done. Um, but I have always struggled with uh, this emphasis on authenticity, which I think we've seen uh, with the rise of social media, we've seen um, a lot of pleas to be authentic. And what does that look like? I've always wondered that for myself because I have different channels and different modes and they are all me. You know, I love to wear ball gowns and I love to wear lounge clothes and that's all still me. So if you see me in a ball gown and you used to seeing, you see me mostly in lounge clothes and you see me in a ball gown, that's not me being fake or whatever. That's me being another part of myself, a different facet of myself. Um, so yeah, this is definitely something that's particularly close to my heart and it's hard for me even like to get my closest friends together. It's not a fun occasion for me because I have different friends that are all very different but are all still really important people to me and people that I really enjoy being with for different reasons. Um, I think that's a, that's a D-E-N-E -E thing, right? So being an extroverted decider and also being an extroverted observer and having all these options to choose from and then having all of these, um, this seeing the whole range of options and abstract and possibilities and then having the whole range of reasons and seeing all of the ways that, um, you know, what I can do or be can serve a different purpose. Um, I think it's that combination that really makes me um, very apt to, apt to adapt. Ooh, that's cute. Um, I thought when you were talking about this, um, this like shopping mode of yours is a perfect example, like it's serving the purpose um, to accomplish your task. Um, I thought about when, um, kind of a long story here, but I ended up going on a trip with my dad and my husband uh, to a place outside of Las Vegas, Nevada in the desert um, doing handgun training for four days and this was years ago now but um, you know I'm not really uh, that's not really like my thing I don't really care that much um, but for me it was like every day I kind of psyched myself out and decided I was just gonna be like Lara Croft and Tomb Raider reference I don't know if you know that character but anyway um, I was the best in the class um, we had a shootout at the end and you know there are guys who've been doing this forever and former police law enforcement officers whatever military guys and then we had a shootout on the last day of the class and I won um, and I attribute that purely to kind of switching channels and being like I am in this mode now that is all like that does encompass who I am it is not my primary mode I have to like flip into that mode and then I can do it, but then I turn it off and it's totally off. Um, so, you know, that, that for me feels a little bit less like who I am on a daily basis. And yet, you know, it's there somewhere. Um, it's just not uh, something, it's something that I have to like choose to access. And I access it really for the purpose of just like accomplishing the task and then it's done. Um, so for me, it's very task oriented uh, and very much um, to serve, you know, the tribe or to just, yeah, accomplish something. <laughs> um, great question. I'm going to get back to my new year planning as this is my favorite time of year to, again, now here we go, right, a different version of myself, but to kind of hunker down and huddle in and calibrate for the new year. So happy new year and I'll see you next week.